Welcome. In this short video, we're going to learn how to use the Personal Historian Organizer. Now, the Organizer is a special tool in the Story Editor that helps you brainstorm ideas and then organize them into an outline so that you can then have something to work from in order to write your story. So let's go ahead and just jump right in and, and work with that. I'm going to come up here in Personal Historian and click on Add Story. And let's say this story that I'm going to write is about my first date. Well, I could just come right down here into the composer and just start writing about it. But I tend to get brain freeze and writer's block, things like that. So I usually need uh, a little bit of an outline to get me going. And that's where the organizer, which is this item right here on the left, uh, comes in handy. Now, I'm just going to click on that. And all I'm going to do is just write everything I can think about with my first date. So I'm just going to say, let's say your name was Barbara and she was cute. Now, what I did here is I just typed in Barbara and then pressed the enter key and it moved down to the next row. Now, I can also use these two buttons right here if I wanted to. This first one just adds a new blank place work for me to type something in. It's a little bit more work to click on that, add it, then come down and type something in than it is just to press enter and just keep going. This one lets you add sub items and that's useful if you want to add a sub item. In other words, something that's indented underneath another item right now. But the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that after the fact. Okay, so I'm just going to continue hitting enter and going on to the next one, so I'm going to say she was a redhead. Enter. Uh, she sat in front of me in history. Uh, I tried. I used to try to get her attention by tugging on her hair. I wasn't really good with the ladies. Um, it was, it was the last, it was probably like the last month of the school year when we, when I finally asked her out. She said yes. And of course I was, I was surprised because I had been such a jerk. Um, so anyways, on the date I drove to her house. I honked for her to come out. She didn't come out. I honked some more. Her dad came out. He was big. He looked mean. Um, looked kind of like a drill sergeant. I guess I could even put that drill sergeant. And I don't know how to spell sergeant. Um, but that's okay. If when I when I actually write it in the composer, I can run spell check on that. Um, he he told me I better not have been honking for his daughter to come out. Okay, uh, I told him. I was just testing the horn. Um, I walked to the door. I rang the doorbell. Um, walked her to the car. I'd learned my lesson, so I opened the car door for her. Um, we went to McDonald's. I forgot my wallet. She had to pay. Um, and, and again, I can just keep going like this. So uh, bottom line date was a disaster. We still remained friends. Okay, so basically that's that's what I do. I just go in and anything I can remember about this story, I just type it in. Now, if I don't have a lot of time, I could actually just go ahead and, and save this story. And my story is right there. So when I come back into my story, my everything is still there in my organizer. So 
as I as I add a new story, what I do is I just throw a bunch of pieces of information in there. So I remember when I do come back later what it is I wanted to actually write about. Now, this is where it gets really neat. I can then go and take these items and organize them basically using these four arrows, or I can just drag and drag and drop, organize them. For example, cute describes Barbara. So I'm going to click the right arrow here, and that's going to make cute a little sub item under Barbara. Redhead is also a sub item of Barbara. She, Barbara was a cute redhead, and she happened to sit in front of me in history. Um, I tugged on her hair. Uh, I asked her out the last month of school. She said yes. And so I can do this by just using these arrows. Uh, if, I if I move one as a sub item and then decide I didn't want to do that, I can click the left arrow and move it back. I can also, which is can sometimes be more, more quick than using these arrows, I can drag and drop. So I can, I can come right here and I can say I drove to her house and I honked for her to come out. So I can click on this and then basically point at the one I want it to go under and it will drop it under that. She didn't come out, I can do that. Uh, so it's, um, oh, let's see, I, I honked some more. Her dad came out. Okay, he was big, so this describes her dad, so I'm gonna put it under her dad. And he looked mean, uh, looked like a drill sergeant. I'll put that under he, looking mean because it describes how he looked. Okay, and so he he told me that I'd better not uh, have been honking for his daughter to come out. And so that probably goes under under this like that. Anyways, I can just continue like this. And basically what ends up happening is I end up with what's called an outline. Just like we were taught in school, you know, always create an outline and then write your story. Well. This is, makes it easy to write that outline. It's, it's not a drudgery. All you do is brainstorm and then you just rearrange the items into that. From here, I can then go in and I can just start writing my story. I can say, um, you know, like may, maybe my first date, maybe that's how, I, maybe I want that to be the very first item um, up here. Okay, come on. Maybe I want that to be the very first item. Um, and so I can basically lay out exactly how I want to do it. So my first date was a disaster. Um, her name was Barbara. And she was the cute redhead who sat in front of me in history and so on now the another thing i can do is if if i i can either leave my the my outline over here on the left or if i want to bring it over here into the composer so that i can work on it from there i can come up here into the menu where it says organizer and say copy to composer and it asks do you want to copy those and it copies my outline right into my composer. So from right here, I can actually go ahead and work with it right from there. Now finally, if you're working with this and you want a little bit more room in the composer and you, you don't really need this in the way, you can click on the little tab right here and that will close it up out of the way. It'll still be there, but you can open and close it as you need it. So hopefully you'll, you will find the organizer to be of use to you as you uh, try to come up with ideas for writing stories, and I hope that this helps you write the perfect personal history.